and that's not all. Across the tarmac at the air cargo terminal, things are even worse. The communication link with the old airport goes down. And then, someone accidentally deletes a critical database. The most technologically advanced airport in the world is now forced to sort all cargo by hand. But they can't keep up. Soon the tarmac is packed. The airport is forced to turn away 55,000 tons of freight. It's a discouraging opening day. Within weeks, passenger numbers begin to climb. Things are almost running smoothly. More than 500 flights arrive or depart each day. Double the traffic handled by Kai Tak at its busiest. The cargo terminal also gets the kinks out. Just as planned, the vast maze of fully automated lifts and cranes moves, sorts, stacks, and transfers more than 4,000 tons of cargo a day. Everything from lobsters to helicopters. Life was returning to normal for the young airport. Until Mother Nature came calling. Only a year after the grand opening, Typhoon Sam slammed into Hong Kong. Winds gusted over 100 miles an hour. Right in the middle of the storm, China Air Flight 233, carrying 315 passengers, began its final approach. The plane had already tried once to land only to abort and return to the skies. In a fateful decision, the pilots attempted another landing. In the final seconds, the plane's right wing suddenly dipped, colliding with the runway. The plane flipped completely over and skidded down the tarmac. Emergency crews rushed to the burning plane. Still, 200 people were injured. And three died. It was the first serious accident for the Hong Kong International Airport. It led to stricter flight rules and beefed up weather radar. The new infrared system will most likely help to prevent similar accidents in the future. But what about the terminal itself? Can such a huge open structure really stand up to the worst that Mother Nature can throw at it? The year is 2010. A Category 10 typhoon with wind speeds up to 200 miles per hour bears down on Hong Kong. The storm's track has it making a direct hit on the airport. Emergency plans go into effect. Air traffic control diverts incoming planes to other airports, and outgoing flights are canceled. But now there's an even greater concern. The hollow glass terminal building now seems like a sitting duck. Engineers worry that the building could be ripped right off its foundations.
the building trembles and groans. And then, the sound of shattering glass. It's a terrifying occurrence, but it actually relieves the pressure from the wind. possibly saving the building. The largest enclosed structure in the world survives with minimal damage. While it's unlikely that anything this complex will ever be built again as a single project, the lessons learned are invaluable. And as other cities and countries look to their futures, we can have no more inspiring an example of extreme engineering than Hong Kong.